everyone! Happy December! I thought to kick off the most magical time of the year, we'd look at all the non-holiday holiday Barbies, which is what I'm calling them because technically they are holiday Barbies, but they're not the holiday Barbies you think of when you think of holiday Barbies. If you're like me, you think of the one that they do every year in the big ball gown and blah blah blah. These are the ones that they also do, but aren't their like main collector ones. So I thought we'd look at that. It's a bit different, but it's still, you know, the traditional let's rank the holiday Barbies. So let's get into it. So at the bottom of my list are the holiday sparkle Barbies from around 2012 and 2013. I hate them. I know a lot of people didn't like the 2010 Barbies just because they were kind of cheap or very, very pink. I like the 2010 Barbies, but these are ugly. 2 out of 10. This is Holiday Dreams Barbie. Now she is kind of the epitome of 90s Barbie if you ask me. She has the big hair, the kind of garish outfit, but I love it. The reason she's at the bottom of the list is because there are just better ones, but I still love this kind of cheesy, kind of ugly looking Barbie. This is Holiday Joy Barbie. Now, she's from the early 2000s, which wasn't my favorite time, and I like the green dress, but the shawl is just not it. They made another variation of her a couple years later with a red shawl, which is a bit better, but I still am not a fan, so like a 3 out of 10 for these. Now, the Christmas morning Barbies are the most consistent holiday Barbies other than, of course, the ones that we all think of. They did these almost every year for a long time, and there's some really cute ones, but these ones here are just not the cutest. I still love them. The reindeer pajamas are adorable, and I love that they all come with a little stuffed animal. Not the best though, we'll see more of these pajamas later on. This is Home for the Holidays Barbie. Now, the outfit itself is very basic, it's just red and gold. But I actually love the base doll. I think her makeup and her hair in the face mold they used is adorable, and that's why she's so high up. She reminds me of Barbie in a Christmas Carol, the Eden character, I think her name was. And so I just think it's really cute. This is Holiday Party Barbie, and she is, you know, what I think every non-over-the-top Barbie should look like. She's got the cutest little dress, a simple necklace, and a cute little makeup going on. I think she's adorable and I love the little ponytail that she has. Forgot to rank her, she's like a 7 out of 10. This is Holiday Wishes Barbie. Now she is very similar to the holiday Barbies we're used to seeing, but just not as over the top and a better price for those who couldn't afford the straight up holiday Barbies. And I like this. I am a fan of red velvet and I think it looks really good on her. So like mm, 6 out of 10. This is a Christmas morning Barbie for 2005, and I think she is adorable. I love the idea of the snowman and the little snowman stuffy. So cute. 9 out of 10. This is Holiday Sparkle Barbie, and surprisingly, I really like her. I like the fit of the dress, and I like the red and silver. I think it's pretty cute. I'm gonna give her like an 8 out of 10. I'm sure she's not the quality that you would expect, but she's really cute. Now, they did have a couple of holiday Chelsea's as well. They had this reindeer one, which I think is so cute. I love Chelsea dolls, and especially when they're in cute outfits, so that's a 10 out of 10. And they have this poinsettia one, which is not as cute, but I'm a sucker for redheads, so that's like an 8 out of 10. Here is Christmas Morning 2003. This one's up a bit higher just because I like the all over print, and the idea of a teddy bear is just such a classic Christmas morning thing to me. I'm gonna give her like a 9 out of 10. Trimming Barbie. Now, to me, she is that sort of pivotal end of the 90s Barbie. She has the more slim down face, not the blue eyeshadow, and the hair isn't over the top, it's just short and very sleek and smooth. I do love the kind of ugly sweater shirt that she has on and the green velvet pants. I think it is so 90s and it is adorable. 10 out of 10. This is Santa's Helper Barbie. There is a 90s version, which is much, much better, which we will look at later. But as for this version, I don't love it. I mean, I love the idea, and that's why it's so high up on the list, but it's just kind of basic, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for effort. Now this is Holiday Hostess Barbie, and she is a 10 out of 10. I love it. It is so simple. It's just the cutest little Santa dress with green makeup and poofy hair, 
but it is the most 90s Barbie and she just gives me all the warm fuzzies. I love this doll and I want her so bad. This is Holiday Treats Barbie and I feel like if you haven't seen her, you, you're missing out. This doll is so cute. She has the cutest little apron. She has that classic late 90s Barbie face that is so sweet. And she comes with a little tray of cookies. I absolutely adore this doll. She is a 10 out of 10. I think she is adorable. Coca-Cola Noel Barbie. Now, this one isn't the best of the PJs, but the reason I love her so much is because it is such a fun idea. I mean, Coca-Cola is pretty much synonymous with Christmas. And so putting it with Barbie in these like really garish pajamas is such a fun idea to me. I love it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 as well. Caroling Fun Barbie. Is she the most unique one? No, but something about her little sweater to me is so cute and I would have bought the doll just for the little sweater. I love that sweater. For the sweater, 10 out of 10. For the doll as a whole, mm, 7 out of 10. Similarly, we have Holiday Seasons Barbie. Don't be fooled, those white tights are literally just painted legs. Although I do love the ugly Christmas sweater, so once again, 10 out of 10 for the sweater and a 5 out of 10 for the doll. Don't paint the leggings on, it's terrible. Now, this is a personal favorite of mine. This is Festive Season Barbie. Why is she a personal favorite? Because I had her as a kid and I have her now as part of my Holiday Barbie collection. I love the green dress with the little silver sparkles. It comes with a little stocking that has her name on it. It says Barbie. That is so cute to me. And her hair is absolutely the softest. I love this doll. Very basic, but very, very cute. 10 out of 10. In first place for non-holiday holiday Barbies is, of course, the advent calendar Barbie. I am a sucker for 1960s styled Barbies, and this one is no different. I love the classic Christmas Barbie dress. I love the, the idea of the black hair and a, and a sleek ponytail. I love the shoes. Everything about her is perfect. Now, of course, if you got the set, you know that she comes with a whole bunch of accessories and I think a second outfit, but this outfit is the best. I am obsessed, 100 out of 10. She is beautiful and I would buy her if she wasn't so expensive. Well, of course, there are other holiday Barbies that I didn't rank, but we'd be here all day if I was ranking all of them, and I feel like that would get a bit boring after a while, so I just ranked the most interesting and my favorite ones. I'm sorry if I sounded sick throughout this video, I think I am coming down with something, but I wanted to keep on schedule of putting a video out every weekend, and so uh, yeah. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful start of the, your December, and let me know if you had any of these holiday Barbies or any of the other holiday Barbies that weren't on this list. I was thinking about doing a video about holiday Chelsea's, but maybe I'll just make that in shorts form, which is like the TikTok Reels shorts version thing, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Bye!